I've been following the story of the Rice Brothers for about 10 years now, since soon after they started their company, Rice Energy. They're based in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and focused on drilling and fracking an area called the Marcellus Shale. This is the nation's biggest natural gas field that produces roughly a third of all United States gas right now. We grew up in the outskirts of Boston. My father was in the financial part of the oil industry. He gave us the rundown of the industry and it sounded interesting to us. And he said, maybe you guys should start a company one day. We decided right there that's what we wanted to do. We had no direct experience drilling wells. Everything that we knew about drilling oil and gas wells, we learned in a classroom. But we hit the ground and we were thrown into the deep end and had to try to figure it out on the fly. They were new to fracking, they didn't have any experience, and the, the whole industry didn't even have any infrastructure in, in that area around Pittsburgh. So I was interested in them because they were really starting from scratch at, at a new time for the industry. My first job in this industry was a floor hand on a workover rig, which is sort of bottom of the totem pole. I was making $9 an hour with a $2 an hour bonus for safety. That gave me a tremendous appreciation for the, the men and women that are in the field working in, in all conditions and was, was a very tremendous experience for me to understand. You know, for you to be successful in this business, you have to have great people in the field. So it, it's kind of wild to think that these three brothers just woke up and decided, yeah, we're going to start an oil company. But that's kind of what they did. Their father was very involved in oil and gas investing and so that he knew that there was something special that had been discovered in the Marcellus Shale area of Pennsylvania. So he knew that if they were early enough into this new field, they might be able to lock up enough drillable acreage. That's what everyone was fighting over 10 years ago in order to get control of enough acres to where you can drill these really long wells. They call themselves the Shaleennials. So these were the young, environmentally minded generation that was going to take over the natural gas fracking business. They went public in 2014 and then in 2017 the Rice Brothers sold their company to a Pittsburgh-based EQT. EQT is the nation's biggest producer of natural gas and when they added Rice Energy to their combination they got even bigger. So they went from starting their own company, building their own company, selling their company, then being totally unhappy about who they sold it to, to, to such an extent that they decided to fight to get it back again. And so now Toby Rice is the CEO of EQT and his brother Danny is on the board and Derek is also a consultant. So they are leading now the biggest company in the US natural gas industry and they're barely 40 years old. So this is really the generation that is going to be leading the industry over, over the next 20 years. When we first started out 10 years ago, that was the hot topic was, is fracking dangerous? Typically the issues that happen in the field, like whether it's fracking or drilling a well, the most common occurrence of those issues is people not following procedures or mechanical failures. But the actual act of doing the process itself as designed, the success rate is 99.999%. We knew the magnifying glass was on us every single day, landowners, regulators. And so we always wanted to be transparent with them and always knew that you know if we did have any issues whatsoever, they would come to light. And look, I, I think the industry welcomes that more now than ever. Through EQT, we are going to be eliminating all of our pneumatic devices. We're gonna be cutting our methane emissions by over 65%. This is gonna be a big part of us reaching our net zero goals by 2025. Methane emissions is something that this industry will address. The concerns that the public has about climate change certainly makes being an energy executive a very challenging time. But this is also, I think, one of the most exciting times to be in energy. Since the Rice Brothers sold their company, they've been working on reinvesting the roughly $250 million that they made. They have sponsored two special purpose acquisition companies. The most successful of those so far is called Arkea Energy. What makes Arkea Energy so interesting is that they capture the natural gas that wafts out of landfills. Unless you have systems to collect that methane that's just naturally leaking off of the landfills, that methane goes into the atmosphere, which is 
very harmful. There's this company, Arkea, that we backed and we spacked, and they go out and collect that methane. And just to put into perspective the potential impact from collecting that gas, if Arkea collected the gas from all 3,000 landfills in the United States, the emission reduction would be equivalent to electrifying 75% of the vehicle fleet in the United States. And so when we think about how to solve some of these problems, we ask ourselves the question, would we rather electrify 250 million vehicles, which is going to be a monumental effort, or would we rather collect the gas from 2,500 landfills? And it's those types of ideas that we're gonna pursue it's because we know pound for pound when we deploy those dollars, it's gonna have a bigger impact than anything we can invest in the public market. I'm always fascinated to learn about these stories of entrepreneurs who create something from nothing. What was different about the Rice Brothers is that they had a lot of help from their father. They got tens of millions of dollars to start this company. But you can't just start a drilling company in a garage. You need a lot of capital, you need a lot of investment, and then you need to go out and, and hire uh, massive amounts of expertise. So it was just amazing to me that these young guys took on all of that challenge, all of that risk, when they started out with what for anyone else would have been a, a very nice family nest egg to begin with. But now they've created generational wealth and they're just going from there. We'll see how far they can go.